Tonight, we're hearing from the family and friends of two teenagers shot and killed in Chester, Delaware County. It happened at a place where children should feel safe. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is live in Chester with the very latest on the investigation. Joe? Jessica, you know, the saddest thing about this story is these teenagers were playing at a basketball hoop just recently installed. They are 15 years old, two of them dead tonight. I can tell you Chester City Police, city officials, even the school district, all quiet about the investigation. That's Edward Harmon, a basketball loving Chester High student. He was 15. He was a good kid. He was he was nice. And this is Tavon Avery, also 15. Both Tavon and Edward were shot Tuesday afternoon. My girlfriend called and said that our children were shot, so I just got down the street. Tavon's mom said the horror of the moment became all too real as she waited for information. It's the worst day standing there waiting for confirmation if it's your kid or not. It's a terrible feeling. Two other teens were also shot in a case that police and Delaware County prosecutors have yet to take questions on. Police swarmed the area of 200 Broomall Street in a crime scene that quickly expanded for blocks. Edward's grandmother was proud of the young man he had become. Well, he made a difference here in the community. They love Edward. He played ball. They came to the games. They, you know, he stood out as a fun kid. He wasn't street. He was just about sports, school, girls. <laughs> he was a lady man. Edward played varsity basketball for Chester High School. Tavon was on the JV team. Both men expected to be honored tonight, remembered and eulogized when Chester faces Cardinal O'Hara. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, working our sources to get the latest on the investigation and where it stands. And also, while we were interviewing family members of these two gunshot victims, more gunfire in the city of Chester. Lots of uh, tight degrees of separation here. I'll explain what that means when I see you in one hour. Live in Chester, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, we'll see you then. Thank you very much. Now